Day 31. After I started this game. This incredible game. Lobotomy Corporation. Today, no core suppression, but still more than enough to do. Um, you know what? I'll just hire. Oh god, no, this name. No. Victor? No. Come on, give me some cool names. Why? Wait, why don't they have mouths? What happened? None of them. Is my game broken? That's not how I wanted to start this episode. Elena, okay. So. Oh, okay, now they have a mouth. I think this was a visual bug or something. Anyway, um. Two new employees. You know why? I think the reason why Harry and Bong Bong both are so useless is because they just fucked around down here and didn't do anything. So I'll separate those two, you know, just like back in school when you had a good friend and you were not paying any attention at all and just chatting away with him and the teacher said, you know what, you two, I've had enough of you. You sit over there and the other one sit on my lap or something. Of course, doesn't mean that it happened this way for everyone, but let's just say, no, let's not say that. Anyway, no one's sitting on anyone's lap today, at least not right now. Day 31, Lobotomy Corporation, I will suppress five war abnormalities today, if possible, uh, the Bird of Judgment quite a few times, and I'll take a look at my new abnormalities and hope that they are not as rapingly horrible as they can be. So Bong Bong is now the new chief of the welfare team, which the department looks pretty cool to be honest. And oh okay, so this is this is nice. I think since both Bong Bong and who's this now? Elena are now oh shit, I forgot to give them any suits. Aww. Well <laughs> that's the Lambda Delta guarantee, isn't it? Do something and forget the most important part most important part about it. Oh my god. So I now can traverse a little bit quicker since the fucking is, is what what department even is this? The tipper of department is just a pain to to go through. Anyway, um Oh god, today's episode. I'm really fucking sorry. I actually do enjoy doing the core suppression one since I have clear goals in mind and this now is just, I don't know, it's just me fucking around and trying to do stuff that could be important but possibly isn't, but, well, you know, I have to do it. <laughs> I have to do Gibura's mission. I don't know why they don't give you a mission as soon as you start with the department, since I could do Chazet's mission as well, maybe. I don't know what his missions are about, but anyway... First things first. The portrait. Um, you know what? Where is he? It's Central Command, by the way. Johnson, you go into the portrait. And last time I sent someone else afterwards. So this probably means I shouldn't send someone else, but only the same person, or maybe I can only use it once a day possibly let's see what it unlocks and where's my other new abnormality it has to be up here somewhere since the forsaken murderer is gone oh my god well she she i guess it's a nice queen but she looks pretty fucking badass holy shit harry this will be a case for you i think since you're one of the only people that can work abnormalities that crazy so Johnson now has the creepy head above his own head and he's on this portrait and this says the first employee to see the abnormality will have the image etched on the canvas okay so Johnson if I send you again what happens will you die does it maybe take time for this thing to wear off? This is my second guess now. Okay, no, Johnson is still alive. He's still alive. I can I send him once more? What happened with him even? 
Doesn't have any bonus really. So what does this portrait thing do? I wonder how many rookies will die. I can tell you. How, how many new dudes did we get today? Two? That's my guess. Oh my god. I shouldn't fuck around too much with the new abnormalities since White Knight is still here. Which means I'll have to do, do everything like I did it... Wait a second. Um... Like I did it with the core suppressions, basically. I have to push through these days as fast as possible and then try to do the missions while I'm doing it. Well... Can I level anyone up while I'm doing this though? I mean, where could Basil work that would level up his fortitude, for example? Look, it's the fairy festival. That's nice. Letizia. I think... Oh yeah, Nicole leveled up. Um, why not try to level up Attachment for Noah? What else can we do? Where's Galaxy Kid when you need him? We'll ignore the crazy smoking granny again. Since... Oh, there's, there's the child of Galaxy. Um, she doesn't really do anything. I don't really need her stuff anymore, I think. I got... I got it maxed out and... You don't really need to work her, even if you ignore her mechanic. Even if she gets a clip of counter, or rather a clip of meltdown, not counter. Um, even if her counter decreases and she gets a meltdown, you can just fucking ignore her. It's just like old people in real life. Just ignore them and eventually they will go away. Sounds harsh, but it's the truth, everyone. It's the fucking truth. Anyway, Harry. Since the only thing you need to level up are attachment and insight, or rather prudence and temperance, this is what we'll do with you. You're again on Child of Galaxy, on Galaxy Kid duty, you're his friend. And Chloe, as usual, will work with the White Knight. And this is everything we set out to do today. Learn about the new abnormalities, uh, who was it? Johnson? and try to survive basically, try to survive this mission. Now what should we do about this one? Since if I fuck this up and Hunter dies, I have to restart anyway. Oh, Hunter is working. Oh yeah, of course. So this is a fable type. Oh, it's snowing in there. Hunter is pretty tanky against just about everything, which goes to show that he's the best candidate for guinea pigging basically. He or Chloe. Oh my god, I think I'll leave this for now. Uh, all damage done to the employee etched in the portrait will be taken by another employee in the facility. However, the effect does not apply to damage that exceeds the maximum HP of the employee engraved on the canvas. They will incre receive increased damage. Why would you ever do that? Why would you ever want to do that? I mean, if you could, hmm, if you only have one really bad rookie and you etch him in the portrait and everyone else is tanky as hell already, I could get that. If I could choose who takes the damage, I could say, okay, um, Johnson, you're etched on the portrait now and Hunter, you take his damage, even if it is increased. Hunter is so broken that it wouldn't matter, but like this? I don't get the use of it. So should I push through two additional times? I think we'll do. I think we'll do, Johnson. Let's see what happens. Nothing. You know what? Let's do it immediately again. Okay. Um, once the damaged employee dies, another employee will take their spot. When no more employees remain, the employee etched in the portrait will die. That's really fucking weird. What is... What is this portrait about? When would you ever use that? If you have... Um, if you have a... Legit use of this. And maybe it's broken as hell and I just can't wrap my head around it. Tell me, since I'm too dumb to get... Why would you ever do this? If the image of a new employee becomes etched on the canvas, the previous employee will be killed. Yeah, I got that. So, sorry, this <laughs> this doesn't really make for good viewing experience, but I just want to unlock this. How many more do I need? I need 10. 
I have eight. <laughs> uh, watch 10B. If an employee goes in here 10 times, he dies. <laughs> no? Okay. Um, if the employee whose image, in etch whose image is etched in the portrait, I guess, is killed by means other than normal damage, then the portrait will return to its original state. Huh. When would you ever use the portrait of another world? I can basically can't really use Johnson now for the day. I have to remember that, since that's not good, really. But whatever, I can live with that. Johnson, he's a new guy, he doesn't wear any suit even, so... I don't really want to use him anyway. Um... Bezel, yes. And... Brown, you can do something as well, I don't know. Does anyone else need to level up some- maybe someone is on level 4 with some stat. Um... Come on. Vera. Justice. Vera needs to level up her justice. Maybe with Snow White's- Snow White's apple, sorry. Jesus, I went German there. Um, wait, she's right in the beginning, isn't she? Yeah, sure, Vera, try your luck. Let's hope that this thing doesn't escape. Even, or rather, then again, I wouldn't mind that much. And now... Is it the Snow Queen or the Ice Queen? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll watch it. We'll watch what happens with Hunter. So, I guess I'm done with the portrait of another world for now. Again, if you have any use for it, do tell me. I can't imagine any situation where I really would want this effect to happen, though. Okay, Hunter is relaxed for now. Let's see. The room shines with ice and frost. What else? Hello? He's resisting damage. Holy shit, it's not dealing any damage at all to him. Oh. Is everything okay, Hunter? It was only a neutral work result. Are you... are you feeling alright? Why are you pessimistic now? Pessimistic un United. Hmm. Oh, it's the security team period got reset, right? Because of the core suppression. I'm sorry, Hunter. I'm really sorry. So, okay. So if... if I can just keep working attachment... Let's see. I'll unlock everything else. Oh, would you take a look at this? It's an abnormality that helps me level up inside. And she's not taking any overload, which means she's not a war, she's a he. Damn, that's bad. I want more wars. I want more elephs again. Give me elf abnormalities. And while we're speaking about abnormalities, I did enable the Becker abnormalities, the DLCs. Because apparently... They're quite good. I don't know. Wait, blood bath? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know if they're good or not. Someone told me I should enable them, and, and I do what I'm told. What can I say? I'm a very simple person. I do what I'm told. If you tell me to jump off the next bridge I, I can find, maybe I'll even do it. Maybe I'll do it. Please don't tell me to jump off a bridge. Anyway. My plan for today was to suppress five war abnormalities, and as soon as Hunter is done with... Oh shit! I didn't pay attention! Why am I such a fucking brainlet? Jesus Christ! Okay. Um... Oh look, the Forsaken Murderer. You know what? Bong Bong? You do that. I can't trust I can't trust Elena without any suit or something. So how many are there? Only two? So the shelter as well? Yumi you go in the shelter. And Bong Bong does the Forsaken Murderer thing and What was I talking about? As soon as Hunter is done with with our own Ice Queen. Let's see. Um Let's read this as soon as I have everything unlocked. 
Hunter, you know what? You can almost stay here. Um, as soon as he's done, oh, I just can't finish my sentences today. I will send Hunter to the Bird of Judgment and I will have him do repression. He should be able to tank a bad work result, not die and thus lower the counter, right? I mean, if he dies, I have to restart and all of this will have been in vain, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I should have started with that. Maybe I should have just ignored the new abnormalities. Maybe I'll fuck up anyway because of White Knight. Who knows? I can't concentrate for longer than 20 minutes at a time. I'm like a little kid. So, it's all very much open as to what will happen today. Place your bets now. Will I have to restart? Yes or no? Um, will I even be able to finish this day? Yes or no? Will I do this mission or will I forget about it halfway through? Oh, look at look at Johnson and Harry just both having these weird things floating above their heads. They're match made in heaven, really. Johnson and Harry. Two. Oh god, I won't say it. I don't want. I don't want to insult Harry any more than I than I already do. <laughs> Harry gets enough abuse as it is, really. So I better not rub salt in the wound. I mean, he's not a bad employee, but he's not a good one either. Same with Bong Bong. Bong Bong is just straight up average, I think. So... Today's episode, huh? It's not really good, is it? It's just me. Trying to do stuff. And unlocking information. But it's not as stressful as it would be with a core suppression. Yet. So let's see. Um, it's the Snow Queen. It's a he? Holy shit. Um, this is a very good white weapon I can get here and I think I'll farm her for a bit because the suit and the weapon both look really cool. Tanky against black and white, huh? but weak against red, that's not good. The suit looks cool, but it, it's not quite as cool. So let's see, when the work result was bad, Employee was kissed by the Snow Queen. And when the work result was bad, it was he was kissed by the Snow Queen with a high probability, okay. An employee who was given a second kiss forgot everything and was trapped inside of the Snow Queen's containment room. To avoid the deadly kiss and to save the trapped employee, a duel? I guess it's a duel as in fighting against each other and not as in two things. <laughs> Uh, with the Snow Queen must be commenced. Only those with high fortitude will be able to safely save the employee. Let's rescue it before the day is over. What? So, if you fuck up twice... It's the second kiss, so it doesn't matter if, if you send different people, I guess. If you fuck up twice, she'll keep one of the employees and you have to send someone to save him? Kind of like a, a prince's story, really. It's the Snow Queen, and the Snow Queen is always an ice queen, a bitch queen, isn't she? She's always evil. But, okay, I actually would like to see that now, but I don't want to risk it. Not today. Not today, I say. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Doctor, no, what happened? Oh, wait a second. Is this... Is this the indicator as to who would be taking damage? Would Dr. No be taking the damage of, of Parker? Is it Parker? It's Johnson. Who's Parker again? Parker's the dude down here, right? Jesus Christ, the B team. I will never learn their names. <laughs> I know everyone else by heart in the A team, but the B team? Nope. So anyway, Johnson won't take any damage and Parker will take increased damage? But as soon as Johnson takes more damage in one hit than he has max HP. Right? Wait, am I getting this right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. So you can basically make someone immune to damage. Except for more than max HP. And if you're lucky, 
but I guess it's just luck. Someone else will take it. That's really tanky. Mm. Okay, so I do see a few... Hmm... I do see a few uses for that, but it's still not as good as, as it could be. Maybe, maybe it's just... Maybe... Maybe I'm too dumb. Maybe there is some broken method behind it that you can use, but again, I'm too dumb. So what else? I want to farm up a little bit. Wait a second, I can use someone else. I now know that I don't need to use Hunter, right? Since she's an he abnormality. So maybe I can use Nicole. Right? Nicole is good. And Noah can... Can do attachment for Letizia. Who did it earlier? Fuck me. It's a real pain to stretch out this thing. Okay. You have to do it here. I'm down. I'm sorry. Jesus. <laughs> Today's episode. Again, I apologize. Yes, Noah did attachment. Good job, Noah. Please. Continue doing so. Um, We need to send someone to the Queen of Hatred. I only just noticed. Or can I just straight up ignore her now? Clip of counter decreased. Hmm. You know what? I'll risk it. If she gets out, I can suppress her. Easy, right? I'll risk it. I'll risk it all for a biscuit. I mean, White Knight seems pretty happy. I'm close to a meltdown happening anyway. So, oh my god, no. Hunter will just straight up ace this shit, won't he? He's too good! Hunter is too good! Hunter is trivializing my whole game, basically. He's doing this all by himself. I don't need anyone else. But I should uh, trigger the meltdown now while I'm at it. <laughs> Only just noticed. Um, who? Basil? Sure. Right. Run up, Basil. Come on. Do it quick. And... The Dawn of Green doubt. Which one was this again? Oh shit, it's the, it's the robots, but they're not as bad. Uh, so Johnson shouldn't really take any damage. Yumi, can you do it? I think you can. And Flying Turtle and Parker, is there... No. Okay. There's one over there. Um, Bong Bong. Oh man, I hope you can do it alone, Bong Bong. I have to look after you in a bit. And shit, Dr. No. You know what, Claw, you do it real quick and then you take care of the White Knight. You kill this one? How many are there? Jesus Christ, there are so many of them. Brown? Oh my god, Brown has, has glasses now. <laughs> and that's it, right? Oh no, there's another one down here. Where's Hunter? Oh, he's, he's over here, okay. Hunter's on his way to... Oh my fucking god. Okay, Chloe, now you take care of White Knight. Everyone else is suppressing. Well, most of them. Uh, um, this is okay. What about over here? Bong Bong is still on her way. This one is down. This one is down. Let's attack this one. And that's it. Damn, Bong Bong. I forgot, she has the revolver now. That's pretty nice. Just listen to this. Okay. There has to be another one though. Okay, yeah, it's up here. Great. Great. Really, really good. Um. Who? Who did this now, Nicole? Nicole. Keep doing it, Nicole. Hunter? Come down here, please. You need to work on the Bird of Judgment now. So, that's basically everything I want to do to t today. Um, and I think I can speed through and e everything else now. I only want to do this now. Which means I'll have some time and can read a story. Whose story do we want to read? Maybe the Snow Queen. A new story. 
Let's do it, since I don't know which story I read already and which I haven't. Story time for the Snow Queen. Am I paused? I am. No. Yes, I am. Oh my god. Ah, oh, great. I'm such a good YouTuber, aren't I? You all really enjoy my content, don't you? A queen lives in the frosty winter forest, like how every story starts. Kai was a child with a kind heart. When an evil fairy scattered pieces of a mirror in everyone's heart, Kai could see what he didn't want or need to see and left the village that he spent his entire life. In an unforgiving blizzard, Kai met the Snow Queen. He wanted to know the world beyond his knowledge. He felt as if everything he knows is just nothing. Okay, I can't get anything so far, but okay. The snow place he reached was so cold, but the Snow Queen's kiss froze his heart and he couldn't feel the cold anymore. There was no joy in the palace, just long winter nights continued. Gerda was strong enough not to be stabbed by the mirror and brave enough to go on an adventure to rescue Kai. The journey was agonizing, Gerda was hurt and pained and sometimes she cried, but eventually Gerda met Kai. Spring came with blossoming flowers. The warmth of spring melted the Snow Queen's palace and a piece of mirror that was in Kai's heart without a trace. So left alone the Snow Queen. We remember when we put her in that cryer coffin with our own hands. From some day, her joyous laughter was gone. She just kept repeating crying, laughing, crying, crying, laughing. She was eventually found in a bathtub with her wrist cut, soaked in red with her own blood. Hmm? We didn't believe in death. Huh? I will reconstruct her from the machine that I have been detested for my lifetime, but became the only answer. She would have been disgusted by me dying in a bathtub, but we have walked the road too much traveled by. One day it talked. What? Eh? Hey, I remember you? You were kind-hearted? That moment I had an urge to destroy what I've created myself? What? Wait a second. Eh? Hey? And... Uh, wait a... Y yeah, you know what? Just bear with me. A bathtub? The blood bath, maybe? Uh, this also is about someone cutting their wrists. Is there a correlation between the bloodbath, the main story, and the Snow Queen? Since, oh my god, they all kind of mention each other. But what is this about? And the machine that I have been, that I have detested, I guess, for my lifetime, became the only answer. We didn't believe in death. I think I'm reading too much into this now, since um, I'm under the assumption that this has to do with the main story, and I'm a, I'm a sucker for the main story, if you haven't noticed yet. I really want to know where it goes and what happens further, but... Oh shit, the Queen of Hatred. Why is she unhappy again? What happened, Queen? I'll have to send Chloe in here now. Shit. Anyway. Let's continue. Business as usual, right? Uh, who did I send up here? Was it Basil? Has to be Basil. Why can't I remember these simple things, really? I'm, I'm really not cut out for this game, I think. And let's let's test this out. Let's see if Hunter can survive this. Very low. Work time 36. Hmm. It's kinda long, but maybe he can do it. Oh my god. The fucking long way every time gets me. I always forget about it. So, Chloe. Okay, have the energy. Great! That's that's really good. It's a purple noon coming up. Did we have a purple noon before? I don't know. My memory really isn't as it used to be. Is this a sentence? So, I can't remember what we've done already. Oh, I got the blood bath. That went bad. So let's see. Chloe, where are you? Chloe? Oh, she's over there. Okay. Heal up, Chloe. And then you get to see the queen bitch again. You haven't seen her in a long time, I think. It was always Hunter for now. For the past few days. Because I think the queen bitch has a thing for Hunter. And Hunter... 
Oh shit, quite possibly has a thing for the Queen Bitch as well. Okay, Chloe, you need to be quick since White Knight is getting jealous now. And that's not good. So, the Bird of Judgment. Neutral work result. Hunter survived. What more do I want? Really? This is great. This means I can easily release him, right? I think his counter even reduced. So all I have to do is um, have Cloy alternate between White Knight and the Queen of Hatred now and push through the other meltdowns. And then I'm fine. Good. Really good. I hope. Wait a second. I want Basil to do this, not you. And Child of Galaxy, Harry... Who else did I want to level up? Uh, Vera. Vera and Justice. Let's see. Vera, you can do it. If she releases, I can also suppress her. Hopefully. So, Chloe. Look at this. Um... <laughs> the White Knight needs you. Who would have thought? He's such a little baby, isn't he? Wah, wah, I want my Chloe, I want my... Where is she? Where is she? I want my Chloe! Okay. Oh my god. What is this? Great love for us. I've never seen that one. I'm really sure about this. I'm really sure about this one. I've never seen it before. So there's one over here and Johnson is over here. Johnson? You better fucking run, mate. <laughs> you better fucking run. Oh, wait a second. Oh my god! What is this? What? Um, what? <laughs> Sorry. What? What happened here? Oh, look. I see the robot versions now. Um, that's one positive. But... Huh? I don't... I don't... I don't get it. Why did they... They got one shot, didn't they? Um, what? I, what? So, I'm, I'm utterly at a loss for words here. What happened? Can someone explain to me? Brown easily killed this thing, but... Let's see what... Harry, you two try to attack this thing. Oh, Hunter's quicker. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh my god. Snow White escaped. <laughs> it doesn't matter at this point. Then again, I can I can test to see how easily I can suppress them, right? Since I will definitely restart this. Um, but seriously, what the fuck happened here? Yeah, ah, uh, this is mostly the B team, but Nicole as well, and I need Nicole. Holy shit, everyone is escaping now. What is happening? Why are they all escaping? Is it because of these things? Are they doing something? If... <sighs> Why? What? How? Why did they one-shot me? I don't get it. I'm, I'm looking I'm looking for a solution here, or rather what mistake I did. And the only thing I can see in common is that they had two low stats, but Nicole was a A-team member, so she must have had high stats. I don't get it. Oh my god, this is taking a while. 
She's tanky against red. She's not doing any damage to Hunter, but... Where's Chloe anyway? Chloe, why haven't you killed this thing? Oh, sh... Okay, um... Let's see, is she is she already suppressed or did she change positions? I think she changed positions. Okay, I... Well, you know what? Let's fucking retry. I will skip ahead to... Uh, Clip of Meltdown level 5 though. Or maybe I'll skip even further. Since you've seen most of the stuff I wanted to do. Maybe I'll just show you how I suppress the abnormalities now. And just cut out all the other fluff now. Since... Fuck me. What the fuck happened, man? Jeez! I think this answers the bets <laughs> I raised earlier though, <laughs> whether or not I have to restart. <laughs> Shit. And then I'll skip ahead again, possibly to how I die in the purple moon again? I honestly couldn't really tell what the fuck happened in the purple moon. I think I remember something... Reading something in a comment about a one-hit KO mechanic, but I honestly don't know which video it was. And <laughs> any details about it, really. Okay, I think I got it, guys. I admit, I uh, looked up the comment. And it's a one-hit KO in uh, in the department's uh, main rooms, basically. I had a hunch, though. I had a hunch that this was the case. So... Still, still, I... Mostly have to thank whoever wrote that. Shit, I, I really should have looked up the name as well. Fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> still! Is this it? Oh, there's one over here as well. Didn't even see that one. So, he will die by his, by his own. Okay, yeah. Okay. What are these things? Where to reach the Dusk of Green? It's weak against black. How many of these things are there? One, two, three, four, four of them. Okay. Huh. They're nervous, okay. It's okay though. Oh, oh shit! Are you serious? They're shitting out the process of understanding and other robots? I think I took too long. I can't I I really can't deal with this shit now. This is too strong for me. Oh god. Oh god. Mm. And now <laughs> the bird of judgment has escaped. <laughs> because that's what I want him to do. Huh, Hunter, where are you? <laughs> where the where the fuck are you, Hunter? I sent you up here, okay. Hunter? You need to deal with this. Ah oh, shit. Maybe maybe it's time for the bunny team. Hostile object. Nine. Let's purify this shit. Oh my god. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> What the fuck? Let's... Please check on Hunter? Oh my god, did they just... Where's Hunter? Oh shit, did Hunter go crazy? Why the fuck did he go crazy? Is it the bunny team? Are they... Did I just straight up... Fuck my try? Ah, uh, today's episode is... <sighs> F 
fuck me. The Bird of Judgment can be really fucking annoying, but he's still, I think, safer to do than uh, the King of Greed somehow, since I don't like the King of Greed's behavior with the... Is he teleporting around or was this an ordeal? I think he's teleporting around, right? Or is he just going through? I can't remember, maybe I should release him at least once to test it. But not right now, I'm, I'm doing kind of okay. Oh, look at this, Hunter got his gift? Good job, Hunter. Even though he... You did such a poor job all the time. I guess he likes getting... Hit? Getting beaten? I don't know. Maybe he does. I don't... I don't kink shame. I said this before, several times, I think. I don't kink shame. Whatever floats your boat. I won't ask you though, this is not today's viewer interaction, I don't want to know what floats you about. If you do want to tell me though, feel free. Again, as I said, I don't shame, but you don't have to tell me. You can keep it for yourself if you want to. Oh god, I should really stop speaking <laughs> soon. Whatever, let's just see, maybe I can do it, maybe I can't, maybe I have to restart. Does it really matter? Actually, it kind of does, but... Oh shit, it's even a good work result. Can you believe it? Harry, you're too good! Did I send you to do the wrong thing? Not Harry, Hunter, and I did send you to do the wrong thing. I fucked myself. Let's see, what do I need? A normal or a bad one? So everything below 16, if possible below 8. Just keep it like that. No, no, no. Stop it, fuck me. Hunter! You're too good! Please release, please. Release, please. No. Oh, this is bad. Oh, it's taking too long. It's taking too long, it's too slow. Where is he? Ah. Hunter, what? This, this is a fucking mess, isn't it? Look at everyone, it's just a colorful crowd. Let's see how quick you are with this Hunter. And we may have to trigger... Oh, it's immune to red damage! No! Fuck! Chloe has to do it then. Hunter, go back. Chloe, where are you? And everyone else starts suppressing this shit. Oh shit! Well, we'll deal with that as it comes up, okay? We'll deal with this first. If possible, I want to kill him now. These things are still roaming around though, so I should maybe kill them. Where are they? Ah, uh, there's one releasing the Bird of Judgment, but an office worker? No? There's no office worker in here currently, and it's the last one. I need to kill it though. So who do I send down here to take care of this? You know what, Yumi? I don't have much at attachment to you, so you take care of this. Just, yeah, be careful not to walk the wrong way, Yumi. Okay, we killed the King of Greed though. So if we kill this thing here, I have enough points to end the day. Where is she now? I can safely send Hunter and Chloe, I think. Hunter is out of control. Why is Hunter out of control again? Oh, we see. Is he sleeping? Hello? Seriously? Is he sleeping? Tell me he's sleeping. If this is not an S rank, 
Or rather, if, if, if it tells me that someone is dead or something, or panicked, I have to restart this. But what, what's, what's up with Hunter? Why is he out of control? Can I send someone with a white weapon to deal with him? No. One dead! No! No! Fuck, I can't believe I have to do this now because of a fucking bug again. I remember this goddamn bug. Okay, this may be the last time that I have to suppress the Bird of Judgment. One of the biggest fucking assholes around since if you want him to be angry, he isn't. If you want him to be nice, he isn't. He basically does what he wants. And I'm also getting angry at the game now. And it's probably not really the game's fault. Look, it's a blue noon coming up. Isn't this what will spawn the sweepers, cleaners? It's not the fixers. It's the sweepers or cleaners, I think. Um, do I want to see them? Honestly, no, I don't. I want to finish this fucking thing now. Where is he gone? Up here, okay. Oh, you know what? I can say I finished it twice now. If I put together all the failed attempts, I can even say I finished it 2.5 times today. Oh, I cleared the mission. And I even have some boxes to spare. Oh my god. Can you believe it? I certainly can't. I fucking did it in the end, didn't I? Like a fucking boss, I did it. Damn. Let's wait for the Snow Queen to finish and finish this... Fucking day 31. I won't get angry, not anymore. Let's see, let's pause. Everyone is alright. I finished the mission. Day 31 is complete. Everything is okay. It should be an S rank. 17 survived. Zero dead. Harry didn't level up somehow. Oh, he's level 5 already, okay. But he leveled up his uh, temperance. Which is what I wanted him to level up. Um, anything else? Anything important? No. It's not like I like I would even care. Let's let's get some story, please. Please. Oh my god. I have to heavily cut today's episode. <laughs> because otherwise it just won't fit. I want to stay under one hour. Oh look what it is. We could choose the nameless fetus again. Or we could get F0118 since um Bald is awesome. I can't remember. I must have had it when I first played this game. Her unbearable sorrow grew long, mournful hair over time. Do you think this could be an LF type? Do I even really want an LF? I think earlier today I said, I want more LFs, please. Yes, I want them. <laughs> please. Angela. Ah, oh, it feels so nice. And it's so good to see you. While humanity prospered through advanced civilization and technology, it was not aware of the impending racial suicide. Well, that took a turn for the worse real quick. They needed a hero, but they beheaded the hero with their own hands. What did they do to A? Lots of things happened and lots of things have changed. A changed himself from a healer to a creator. Uh-huh. The old promises sustained A without meaning, but in this world, without her, it ultimately became obsolete. Various sins sprung up from his arrogance, and A changed very slowly. He became enchanted by the shadows he created, and the plan to discover the disease of mankind became a distant dream of the past. Oh god, he's not doing what he's supposed to do anymore. What is our part in this then. A became skeptical of man, including himself. A started to look for something that would guide him without turning against him. The answer was simple. Vile humans could not be trusted. The answer was a machine. The machine, loathed by A, was essential to him, which is exactly what we read in the Snow Queen description, isn't it? So it has to be about him, so did he create the Snow Queen as well? 
Wait, did he create every fucking abnormality? Because if he did... A. You are stupid. <laughs> it seemed that A wanted to have wings which would allow him to escape the blasted pits and reach the heavens. You know, this is the weird thing. Every time wings are mentioned, I don't know if it's the literal wings or if it's these department type wings. The, the factions called wings, I don't know. Angelos or Angelos. That was how I was born. Oh, Angela. Oh, sh sure, it means angel, right? So he created you to help him. Or are you the fucking machine? Angela, is this what you want to tell me? Are you the one creating abnormalities? Oh my god, I'm getting confused. Hello, Chesset. Please have some good news for me. Gibura will return soon. Oh man, is this good news or bad news? Can't tell. Manager, if it's alright, could you relay my words? Gibura is... A strangely obsessed with suppression, I would say. She is. And it's getting annoying. <laughs> the additional casualties of the employees during the process. It's entirely disregarded. I, I'm sorry, Chesed, I forgot which voice I gave you first. <laughs> Angela knows but couldn't care less. Gibura is good at suppressing abnormalities. So some added loss in the process is a trade-off. But as a manager, you know that taking down the abnormalities is not our only objective. It felt like it was today. <laughs> well, I'm not sure Gibura will listen to you, but I would appreciate it if you could try. Oh, hello Gibura. I see your wits... Your wits? <laughs> your hips are as wide as ever. Damn. Uh, you're confusing me, Gibura. I'll be honest, as, as soon as I see you, the words just... They fall out of my mouth, but they don't make any sense. Um, I like you. <laughs> I saw Chesset leaving. Anything I should know about? Be honest with me. I can see everything. Oh my god. I, I'm warning you. Don't act as if you know everything. You just did. I've been here for a long time and I've seen much more than you have. Okay, okay, Kibura, it's okay. Damn. Oh, what's this about now? It's no core suppression flashback, that's for sure. She's still in her Sephiroth form. Experiment subject 0934, a simple test will be conducted before applying the chemicals. It's Christopher speaking now. Christopher Robin, maybe? Gibura, the machine with a soul. A wonderful creation of the Lobotomy Corporation. What does having a soul mean? It means having value. It's actually kind of a religion A believes in. Is Christopher important or is he just a throwaway employee? I participated in this experiment because I trust him. A machine with a soul, huh? Now that's just heresy. <laughs> I don't know if I have a soul. If I am disassembled, will there be a soul inside? Ah, oh, it can't be just easily determined by talking with you. A soul can't be seen, but it can be felt. I will be reborn while looking at my own soul. Mankind and the world will be changed soon. Trust A. He is the new savior. So was Gibura one of the first Sephiroths to be created? They looked at her and were like, Well, this isn't too bad if we all look like this hot milf. Then I too want my mind extracted. <laughs> because I would certainly be convinced <laughs> if I saw that. It's Isabel now. So you're Gibura. I heard a lot about you from Christopher. You have a soul, I've heard. A is really remarkable. Don't pay attention to those who disrespect you. They don't know your worth. This is Gilly, our daughter. She's kind and sweet, just like you. I wouldn't really call Gibura kind and sweet, but... I would rather call her hot and... <laughs> hot and horny? I don't know. <laughs> then this child also has a soul? Of course, the soul is something every life form holds, the essence of all, of us all, but yet not known to all. This world believes only in things that can be seen, a bad belief which will eventually lead everyone to destruction. Mm -hmm. Who is now fawning over Gabura? Angela, is that a monster? That is called an abnormality, Gabura. Is it different from a monster? Monsters are monstrous creatures from their very existence, but an abnormality? 
Are you serious? An abnormality is made from humans. What? Oh my fucking gosh. Then why does that abnormality have Christopher's watch and sounds like him? That's because an abnormality is a being that is created from them. It does not come into existence from nothing. And if Christopher was in here before, they must have turned him into an abnormality. So every time I choose a new abnormality, I don't choose to catch one from the surface and contain it. I choose what to turn an employee into. I am a monster, basically. But I, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do abnormalities devour humans? Did it devour Christopher and is now mimicking him? I don't understand. That's because it is complicated, Gibura. One thing is certain. It didn't happen because someone is evil. And that form you call a monster certainly has Christopher's will in it. Holy shit, you guys weren't lying when you said that uh, progress in Gibura would give me some insight into abnormalities. Jesus! Why is there a step of sending Isabel to the D-101 experiment chamber in the experiment history? Why are you placing her with that horrific monster? Man, so in the past Gibura was kinda um, thoughtful and caring for whoever was around her. And something must have broken in her. I wonder what Gibura's core suppression will be about. I don't know, Gibura. They don't explain every detail to us. I heard it's to de determine the loss of humanity or something. But I don't really understand. They sent her in there to see whether she can recognize him or whether he can recognize her. It's gonna hurt, Isabel. I'm sure. I should talk to Angela. Gibura, maybe it would be better to keep quiet about it. I saw other machines questioning orders, but Angela simply resets them. Oh my god. Please, if you feel anger, try to live with that emotion. Wouldn't it be better to live with that than to lose your memory and become lifeless? Oh, and of course Tipperiff knows how that would be since she saw Tipperiff be! Kabura, I... oh man, every time I play this game I kind of feel different about the <laughs> the people in there. <laughs> it just flip-flops so hard how I feel about them. How do you think the story would have ended? What happened to Christopher's wife and his daughter? I don't know either. I'm not sure it's good or bad, but it was not my experiment. I only know that Gilly's old blanket was the only thing to come out of the chamber. Oh my god. They killed another kid! Most people didn't even talk to us because machines aren't even worth the time or effort. But they told me I was worthy. They looked past my exterior. I would never do that. And saw what was inside me. Well, maybe. Sometime, something I wasn't even aware of. That monster called Abnormality killed lots of people since then. But it never dies. It's unfair. Why do we have to be nice to them? Don't pay any mind to the employees in front of you. When it comes out, that will be the least of your worries. Since it truly feels pain, I will dish out as much pain as possible. That is the only reason I am here. Don't patronize me again. Ever. Wow, are they serious? Suppress different LF abnormalities three times? And it's even saying different? I only have one right now. I, c I can't do this mission, guys. Not without an LF. Not without another one. Not without another free, even. I need legs for days back. If you've done so far, you know what to do next. LF abnormalities are the most dangerous and hateful things here. But the monster is a monster. The beings we have to get rid of. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Hello, Chesset. Welcome back. What's on your mind? Isn't the air sweeter than before? May I have a cup of coffee, manager? Sure. Ah, much better. I can't start my day without a cup of coffee in the morning. You're not offended with the way I talk to you or anything, are you? 
I have a different voice again. <laughs> I'm Chesed, head of the welfare team. The welfare team is remarkable. I'm proud to say that my team has the highest satisfaction level in the corporation. What's your deal, Chesed? You seem far too chill. You have to have a bro problem as well. Some trauma in your past or something. Angela told me to cooperate with you for now. I bet it's something to do with the coffee and him not sleeping again. It's kind of similar to Netsek or something. Well, I can go along with anyone, but playing games with a manager is difficult even for me. But it's Angela's order, so I have no choice. I have to go now. The coffee is getting cold. Um, Mr. Chesset, sir, I have something to tell you. Go on. Um, I, I didn't polish the ego enough, and some of them are my functioning right now. I, I think I have to do some ex extra diagnostics. I I'm sorry, sir. That's okay. You have much work to do besides the ego management. Wait, he's far too relaxed about that. I bet he'll kill the, the employee. I almost said the abnormality. The employee, employee later. Fuck me. Mr. Chesset. I will check it myself. It's good enough that you found it out now. There are so many things to do. You can't afford to keep paying attention to everything like that. Thank you, sir. Yes, have a good day. My reaction was quite different from what you've seen around here, wasn't it? Right, Angela wouldn't have dealt it like that. But the employees will be replaced soon, so what is the meaning of investing the effort to them? Oh my god, he doesn't even... Wow, that's... That's even worse than just straight up killing them. It's just having no regards to their existence whatsoever, basically. He doesn't even want to punish them, since it's too much effort. Chesed, you're one crazy motherfucker. Ah, oh, shucks, the coffee is cold now. Well, cold coffee isn't worth it. Better put it down the drain. For the aftermath one. Finish a day? Within the time limit? The welfare team is always busy, they are working very hard while in a carefree environment, but the best method is to finish the job ASAP. This ensures everyone to work more precisely and calmly. Do, do I get time limits now? Oh my fucking god. Guys. Okay, several questions today and I think I've asked them over the course of the video. First I asked what to do with this fucking ordeal that instant killed me. Okay, scratch that. I know now. My bigger question now is what do I do <laughs> with the other ordeal that just straight up spawns smaller ones? I can't even remember which one it is now. And my second question is how sick is this fucking abnormality stuff? They are employees? They were employees? What are we doing here? Um, Remove unstable elements. Hmm. Reduce the movement of an abnormality. Overloading the clip of control. Let's do this one. <laughs> Fucking hell. So... Also, my another question. Can I look forward to the new abnormality I chose? Can't see the name right now, but... Well, just go back in the video. <laughs> I can't even remember the flavor text. And... Where do I get more LFs? I need LFs now. Otherwise, I can't do this. I only have White Knight. I can't suppress him, really. Not without a proper functioning B team. And I need far more people for that, I think. At least three to four more. And then I need some better stuff for them to wear, because even if I do have enough people, these fucking, um, not prophets, what's it called? His dudes. His apostles, that's it. His apostles, they hit hard. Anyway, thank you for watching, even though it was a mess today. It took me so long to do this. My recording time is now at two and a half hours. I hope I can cut this down to less than an hour. Um... Thank you. Smash that like button. Bye.